Election Day has arrived in Alberta. Daniel Smith's United Conservative Party is fighting to win a second consecutive majority government. Meanwhile, Rachel Notley's NDP is trying to regain the government she lost in 2019. The month-long campaign has been dominated by the economy and health care. Joining us now to give us more insight into what we could expect from this nail-biter election is Dr. Keith Brouncy, a professor of political science at Mount Royal University in Calgary. Sir, welcome to Forum Daily. Thank you for having me. So this is a quite the tight race here between two candidates who have both been premier and leader of the opposition in Alberta. So where do Albertans stand when it comes to the two main parties here? Well, I mean, there are two main parties. The others, the Liberals, uh, the Alberta Party, the Greens are uh, more or less irrelevant in this case. So we, it's going to come down to uh, the two parties, uh, a party of the center left and a party of the far right, the far right being the United Conservative Party. And now, uh, we know the economy and health care continue to be top issues for both parties here. So uh, let's start with these issues. Let's start with the economy, including inflation and the rising cost of living. How are both leaders promising to tackle this major issue? Well, I mean, the United Conservative Party has handed out to some people in the province $100 a month to uh, for the last uh, few months to offset the high cost of uh, living. Uh, and our our rate of to offset inflation. On the other hand, the New Democrats have come in and said, "Look, the UCP has caused inflation by deregulating automobile insurance, uh, by deregulating uh, the uh, natural gas prices, by deregulating electricity, and those costs have have risen considerably for the average consumer." So it both have different ways of pursuing this, a direct subsidy from the UCP and um, an indirect kind of uh, regulatory fix from the New Democrats. And a shortage of uh, family doctors as well as long wait times are also primary concerns here. Uh, where do both parties stand when it comes to health care? Well, we know that uh, Danielle Smith has spent the last 30 years of her life wanting to privatize health care. Uh, dismantle the public health care system. I mean, she's made no, um, she hasn't hid that. It's it's what she is all about. And so uh, there is that at one end of the political spectrum. And in terms of the uh, New Democrats, they will spend more money. Uh, they will uh, do everything from put more nurses in school to uh, uh, try and improve wait times in the emergency rooms around the province. Uh, but it's an expensive proposition on both sides. All right. Now, if Ms. Notley were to win this election, she would be the first Alberta premier to return to office after being defeated in an election. Uh, so in what ways have the NDP changed or maybe improved their platform following their loss in 2019? Uh, I don't think they lost in 2019. They actually gained over 100,000 more votes in 2019. What happened was Jason Kenney, uh, through hard work and diligence, came in and united uh, the Wild Rose Party and the Progressive Conservatives, much to the consternation of members of both parties. And he was unceremoniously dumped this uh, last year, uh, just about this time, by his party membership. And Danielle Smith takes over a uh, very tight race on the sixth ballot in October. And Ms. Smith comes with enormous baggage. I mean, she... And she said that anyone who had a COVID vaccine was sympathetic, a Nazi sympathizer. I mean, good God, it was just appalling behavior on her part. Um, what the NDP have done is run a very good uh, campaign in the sense that they're very well organized. Uh, they have a, a, a really interesting group of candidates. Whereas on the other hand, you have uh, the United Conservative Party hasn't had time to organize or at least bring in its really uh, its experienced organizers. And they um, they've just been flying by the seat of their pants. If they win, well, that's what Alberta wants. If they don't, well, we'll have to see what uh, what happens with the new Democrats. We'll have to see for sure. Now, uh, just a quick 30 seconds left here, Dr. Brownsey, but uh, what will you be keeping your eyes on uh, amid this election, especially in the key battleground region of Calgary? Well, I uh, it, I think it'll be a tight election. Uh, you need uh, 44 seats to win. And I think both parties are quite capable of getting those 44 seats. So it, it's going to come down to a get out the vote, uh, which is go TV and who can do that best. 
And I think the uh, NDP have an advantage there just because they've been working on this for the last several years. The UCP have been engaged in a lot of uh, factional infighting. Um, the, some of the candidates have diminished the party. And uh, Danielle Smith is not popular with many in the UCP on the conservative end of the political spectrum in Alberta.